Alright everyone and welcome back to another episode of Red Dead Redemption 2. So we just finished our mission with um, Romeo and Juliet a couple and uh, we're about to uh, meet with Dutch. So I think you have something to the jump boy. There you go. So I think you have something to do in town. Sort of. Jump. There you go. So let's um just keep up with the story and see what Dutch yeah. have to tell us. <laughs> have been fun, really, and um, I really like it. I'm really, really liking it. All the graphics, all the the story and the side quests and everything. Are, all of them are interested. Get out of my way, Thank you, mate. You know, I'm more interested in the story story part than the side quest, obviously. Okay, let's put our horse next to those ones. Let's go. Can you get out? <laughs> Oh god. Whoops. Let's just get away. Uh, let me pet him a little bit. Come here, I'm sweetie. Sorry, boy. There you go. Okay, there's Dutch. At. No, not him. Mike. We're looking at me like that. Mind your own business. Uh, where's that? Over here? Of course, of course. Oh, and here is my dear friend, Arthur Callahan. Boy American is Destination. A Boy is a killer. Arthur, you've met but not been introduced to Mr. Oh, I'm so sorry, Sheriff. Well, how are you doing, sir? I'm fine. Tough business you boys had. We did? Oh, there's no need to pretend with me, sir. Life can be tough. So it can. And no man owes another anything. No, sir. But still, I feel you were hard done by. <laughs> Losing your employment like that? But still, here in Rhodes, we have work enough for honest men. Oh, that's some strong stuff. Still, don't seem to be doing you any harm, I guess. Exactly. Whoa. Excuse me a moment. <laughs> and they I go. told you we was moving up in this world. Deputies. You have finally lost your mind. Amongst these drunkards, hillbillies, and slavers? Good honest thieves like us. We're bound to be moralizers in a place like this. Oh, Sheriff Gray, you are back. Now listen, sir. There is shine in them woods, though. And it is cost in this county its good name. And the state a whole lot of income. You boys wouldn't mind rooting it out. Maybe we'll make you permanent. I gotta set me down a second. Not a problem, sir. Not a problem at all. You are in safe hands now. And people waste time with the temperance movement. Liquor never dulled a good man's senses. Arthur, you ride with the deputy. Bill and I will follow. All right. <coughs> Looks well, like we have a mission in common with the county Arts sheriff. Involved. How are you? Pretty good. Does it feel good to be back at it, serving your country? I wouldn't go that far. Whoa! Whoa! Hold up! You see that wagon? Are we gonna have a look? Yeah, we are. These damn flies! I swear they got it in for me. You could try washing once in a while. Oh. Come on, mister. 
Uh, is there something else I can take? Uh -oh. No, this must have happened recently. Mm. Hey, come have a look at this. Look, oh, what? suit and tie, one bullet clean through the forehead. Well, my money says this is the handiwork of a gang called the Lemoyne Raiders. Yeah, I've run into them. Let's see if we've got any identification. Okay. We should get going. I'll send someone over here later to clean this up. Chicken! <laughs> Why are you taking the road, mate? When you can do a shortcut. Oh, no, no, no. What are you doing, mate? Step aside. Would you mind taking the reins? I want to have a look at Not these at papers. All. Grown man's arm. But anyway, this tells you what kind of people the Braithwaites are. Selling moonshine to murderers. I tell folks don't even speak to them. Don't even look him in the eye. He just right. Here we are. So what was I saying? Something about the Braithwaite, I think. Even saying that word he makes me sick. Now, deputy. Now, anyone we find here, we bring in alive, understood? Round them up and take this operation down for good. Come on. Let's see what we're dealing with. Sneaky, sneaky. See? See? What did I tell you, boys? What did I say? I said this place was crawling with vermin, and we just found ourselves the rat's nest par excellence, as they say in Paris. My aunt, she went to Paris back in 78. I handle this. Well, the way I said... Actually, let my friend here decide. He doesn't have your fine way with words, but he is definitely the man for the job. Let's split up. Arthur and Bill, me and Archibald. You boys want right or left? Um, we're going left. We'll take the left. Let's stop. Mm, okay. Remember what he said. We need them alive. Let's just knock them out and then tie them up. Got it, Deputy Williamson. See one by the bridge over there? Send Bill first. There you go, knock out. Now we're gonna try to get that one we left behind. What are you doing there, man? Drop him off. Let's tie him up. Let me see. 
Okay, let's pick him up. Let's take him to the other guys. Looks dodgy as hell. Alright, let's go. Let's put in Just next to the other guys. The I think that's it. Well, what do we do now? We better destroy all this. Any of your boys can handle explosives? Sure. Anyone but him. Oh, so I think you're real uh. funny, don't you? <laughs> that is the last time I'll mention it, I swear. Yeah, I'm sure. Well, um... Okay, let's get the explosives. Well, let's explode this area. I thought so. <laughs> That's gonna happen. <laughs> I have my hat. Look at your hair. I'm more worried about the freaking hair. Pick it up. Why not pick it up? Anyway, find delay. Yeah, there you go, the name. Love that shotgun. I'm just gonna rush into them. Don't 
open so oh <laughs> that was too aggressive. I don't see any more. Do you? Oh, no. wow, there was a hatch up. He's had literally by me. jump out. Look at that! Look at that! There's no hat! Oh my god. Let me grab some money, mate. Let's get out of here. My revolver. Uh, I think I'm gonna stay with the shotgun. I really like the shotgun, return to our lives. Ah, seems like we failed to destroy the last of the moonshine. Sure. Would you like us to? Well, I normally take it for personal consumption. It's sort of part of the job. But I better get back home. Why don't I just take a jug or two and leave you boys the rest to show that there's no hard feelings on account of the war? We are all Americans. Of course. My cousin, Webster, he used to say some of us is not as American as others, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Only I didn't, quite. Come on, you degenerate, <laughs> no-good, white trash, hillbilly piece of scum. I know you, Billy Lime. Finally. You've always been a Finally. piece of crap. Come on, move We have a life right. on a land so stupid, a backwater so backwards that even we are like geniuses. <laughs> Get this stuff out of here! Come on. You ride with me. Okay. Should I stash this somewhere near camp, boss? Yes! Show it to Hosea. I'm sure he can find a use for it. Oh, he Bit will be pretty there, happy with that. Definitely. Ain't there always? From what they was yelling, I think they were the buyers. Old Archibald didn't ask too many questions, so neither should we. I ain't planning to. That was worth the effort, though. Deputized and hiding in plain sight. These lawmen. These two families. I mean, I really think we can play this from all sides. It's got Hosea written all over it. This is starting to sound like the Young Dutch again. What do you mean, Young Dutch? I'm as strong as I have ever been. Hey, you know what? Why don't I race you back? Okay, you're on. That's the spirit. Okay. Let's go then. On my word. Set. Go. That's interesting you and fun. You never were much of a rider. We'll yep. see about that.
Come on, boy. You can do it. Quite so much. <laughs> well, time is a bastard. When you get to be my age, well, you'll know that better than anything. Be well. I had fun with you today. You're, I was gonna say you're like a son to me. But you're more than that. All right, you're right, you're right. So just wait for another mission, and uh, we're gonna finish this one here, guys. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share the video. Put any comments below. I'm gonna try to answer all of them. And take care. Bye bye. See you next episode.